think the most challenging aspect to running your own business is the fact that there are no right answers. I was a really academic kid in school. I always liked getting the best grades I could get and doing exactly what my teachers said. And I always loved that there was a right answer or there was at least a right and a wrong. But I think the thing that I've really learned running my own business is there is no right answer. There is no rule book. You can do anything you really want to do. And you've also got to live with the consequences of potentially doing the wrong thing. But sometimes you don't know what the right or the wrong thing is until you've already done it. Um, so I think that's probably the most challenging aspect is you really need to have a strong moral compass um, and a really strong set of mentors and advisors around you as well. Especially for me as a young person, I always worry that I don't know what I don't know. Um, so it's important to have those advisors and that moral compass um, to be able to make those decisions because as a CEO especially, you have to make decisions really quickly and you have to make a lot of decisions every single day. And there is no right and wrong and there is no rule book. Um, so I think that's probably the most challenging thing, but at the same time, the most exciting thing. Um, there is no one way of doing things. I don't think there is a recipe for a successful business. I think there are definitely different elements that go into building a really successful business. But I think the thing that I've really learned um, through working in the startup space and seeing businesses of all different shapes and sizes is that every business is different. They all face a unique set of challenges. They all have a unique set of advantages um, and they all operate in really different ways. I mean, you have the basics, like a business needs to be able to make money and be able to deliver a really high quality product. But I think all businesses go about it in a really different way. So I think that's the cool thing about business is there are so many different ways you can get to a certain point um, and every business really is quite unique. I really struggled setting a work-life balance. Um, I mean, for me during school, I was a full-time high school student whilst also essentially running a full-time business. And it was really, really difficult. And I think I paid the price. Like in year 11, I got glandular fever just from getting run down and I couldn't get out of bed for about six weeks. And then in year 12, I got laryngitis again, um, again from being run down and couldn't get out of bed for three or four weeks. So I really did struggle in those early days setting a work-life balance. And I think still now I find myself where I will have 12 to 14 hour days in the office when stuff just needs to get done. But I am getting better at having more of that work-life balance. Um, for me now, I typically will get into the office around 8 o'clock in the morning and try to leave by 6 o'clock at night, so about 10 hours of work a day. Um, but one thing I really set a strict rule on is I don't like doing work at home. Like I'd rather get into the office early or stay in the office late, but be able to shut down my laptop when I leave and not have to open it again until the next morning. So that's been one of the really key rules for me. Um, but I think as well, like that work-life balance is really gonna grow and change as you grow and change and your business grows and changes. I know for me in the early days, I had to put in a lot of time and a lot of effort and energy into the business just to get it up and off the ground. Um, but as I've been able to build out my team, I've been able to um, hand off a few of those tasks that I used to do when I was doing everything myself. Um, and I know my stress levels have gone down, but I've been able to focus more on the business and growing the business as opposed, as opposed to doing the jobs in the business and just running the day to day. Um, so yeah, it's definitely a challenge and a challenge I still struggle with. And I think everybody struggles with, um, everybody that has a lot of really big ambitions and is quite career oriented struggles with that balance. Um, but I think it's just knowing that it's gonna grow and change and evolve as you do as well.